I have to say, quite honestly, I was shocked when I saw what I'm about to show you. So this is getting really, really crazy as it relates to XRP Ripple and Ripple's lawsuit with the SEC about XRP. Is XRP a security? All that kind of stuff that we've been seeing for the last couple of years. So if you haven't seen this, what I'm about to show you is a big deal and it is getting crazy. And if you're just kind of halfway paying attention, you, you have to look at this and go, when is this going to be over? And when is just the right thing going to happen for Ripple slash XRP, meaning that this goes their way? So with that, I want to show you what I've got for you. Okay. So if you hadn't heard this, there is now excerpts or, you know, pieces of a internal emails inside of the SEC that clearly internal documentation between people inside the SEC that XRP does not meet their security standards, meaning the SEC's security standards. Said again, what it really means is, is that per their own test, which is called the Howey, uh, the Howey test right here, that XRP does not meet the criteria to be classified as a security. Yet here we are two years later, still obviously with the lawsuit going on. Okay. So again, right here in the red, according to an excerpt of this internal SEC email, which was released by pro ripple lawyer, John Deaton. If you've been paying attention, John, I love John. John's been out very vocal, uh, you know, sharing his, he's a lawyer. So it, sharing, you know, his knowledge and view about the ongoing lawsuit. Okay. So he basically put this out on Twitter. Uh, this, this excerpt says that the sec might've been aware that XRP did not pass the so-called Howey test, which is used by the government to determine whether an asset should be regulated as a security or not. So it means that they should have never been a lawsuit here. There shouldn't have been all that kind of stuff. And here, quote, uh, this was per um, John Deaton. There are reasonable grounds to conclude, conclude, to conclude that XRP does not satisfy all elements of the Howey analysis and is therefore not a security for purposes of the federal securities law. That's, that's what the email said. <laughs> Just is crazy. Text is reportedly taken from an internal communication at the SEC, but is unclear who exactly wrote the part of an XRP not satisfying the Howey test. And Deaton calls this revelation huge. Okay, so one other thing I want to share, share with you is that XRP has attracted $1.6 billion in additional money flowing into it. And XRP, uh, I haven't looked at it in, in about a few hours today, is up 7.4% on the seven day and up 0.3. So kind of with a market cap of $23 billion and change. This circus continues and it shouldn't. So what do you think? Drop in the comments below. Thanks for your support of my channel, my videos. I appreciate you. Let me know what you think. Drop in the comments. I'll see you.